Good morning, afternoon, evening, everybody, depending on where you are. I'm Brian, a.k.a. Duke Skylover. I just realized I got no music playing. Let me start the music there. There we go. That'll work. So yeah, let me um, move away from the digging noise for a minute here so I can talk. Ow. Okay. So, yeah, it's been a week. Uh, I was planning to stream on Monday, didn't get to it, had some family illness going on, but uh, yeah, I'm back. We're back on Mars, the flat orangey planet. Uh, we got the graceful exit, pooping out some stone in the back there. We were digging a hole so that we can make an underground base. I've got some assertive things flying around over there. <clears throat> now there, I, I did take the liberty of doing something uh, in in the meantime, in between streams, I added some more bad guys. I added uh, Reddit. Well, no, the, the mod that whatever it's called now, the one that used to be Reddit Custom Encounters. Um, it's another one of the one one another one of Meridius Nine's mods, um, and also some things to find, like just scattered along the ground, as well as the Reavers. So they'll be coming around. Hopefully leaving me alone for a while, but eventually they'll be coming around. So, while we're digging out the hole here, let's let's go back over here. And the combat phase is now active. I think the combat phase only applies to if there's like a base that spawns near you. It's kind of like the, um, you know, it's all kind of based on Splitsy's original um, thing in his uh, Survival Maybe series where the antennas would... The, the range of the antennas would expand periodically until it could detect you, and then it would send waves of bad guys after you until it contracted again. I think that's what that is, where it, it should, um, if there was like an outpost near me, combat phase would make it like, hey, we're going to start sending bad guys against you. Either way. Oh yeah, I left my chair over here. I'm going to keep that there. Is this just a regular block? Are these all just heavy armor blocks? I might have done that on purpose. I don't remember what I did last time. Oh, I can tell you another thing that I did. I added a reshade, and it makes things shiny. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to keep that or not, but it adds reflection to some of the blocks. Makes it look nice and cool. Uh, no idea if that's just going to look cool or glitchy, but I thought I'd try it out. Okay. Let me know if you think that's cool or glitchy. Oh, I also added... Um... I also added a mod that makes the build states actually take on their textures. You know, in the way that um, in the way that a lot of these things do, like the rusty one. You know, when things are really rusty, they will like the build states will take on the rust look. And the same with icy and all that stuff. Um, now, like carbon fiber, the build state will look carbon fibery, for example. Uh, what was I actually what what was I actually building here though? Uh, this was God, I don't even remember. Let's see. Was it just plain? These just look like plain blocks. Oh, it was the dusty blocks. That's what these are. Dust armor. Alright, where's my block at here? There we go. So now the build states look kind of dusty, too. Yeah. So anyway, if we fall down the hole here... I made the hole way too deep. And, um... So we might just have a really big basement underneath. Or maybe this will be like a vehicle bay and I'll lower stuff like way down into the ground or something. Um, but yeah, we are going to push this forward in a little bit. Actually, could we do it now or is this still... Yeah. Yeah, this is going to take a little while. So what I wanted to do today, while I wait for everything here to build up, because there's a lot still to get welded, uh, we are and the, the ship is going crazy, we are going to build a new rover... Um, I'm going to see if I have anything in the blueprints that would work as a base, but um, I want to build a new rover that I could drive around with and potentially 
also mine with. And I'm trying to decide if if I should put like drill drills on it or put one of the uh, nanobot drills on the on the truck, so I could essentially just like drive up to a a rock and mine it uh, with these things. And I'm kind of thinking it would be more fun to do actual drills and not those things. So that's what we're gonna do. I've decided. There is one last bit of housekeeping that I need to do. It's not Halloween anymore. Halloween was was fun. Uh, it was kind of it was warm here where I live, and uh, it was a bit rain. It was warmer than usual. A couple years ago, it snowed here on Halloween. This year, it was like in the 60s, but it was rainy, which was kind of perfect because it was it was kind of cool and uh, damp and like foggy. It was very Halloween. -y. But anyway, our poor pumpkins are not looking too good anymore. So we're gonna have to get rid of these things. I'm afraid. So as you do with pumpkins, this is this is the correct way to get rid of pumpkins. You get your angle grinder out, right, and then you just very carefully just grind them until they disintegrate into nothingness. And then you know, then you're good. Then you can go take the uh, I don't know what did I get out of that scrap metal. Take your scrap metal, go put it in your garden to compost it, you know, or your composter. And, um, yeah, you know, your corn or potatoes or whatever will love that, love that scrap metal. All right, we might need to make some lighting, um, because the sun is going down. So that I can work through the night. I do also want to consider, because uh, I wanted to do a solar tower at this base, and I also wanted to get some more defenses, like, around the base, like some larger cannons or something that could, uh, help defend the ship. But for the time being, I think I'm gonna just throw together a solar... Actually, I'm not even gonna do that. We're just gonna put some lights up and just build, the sh build a, uh... Where are we gonna build it off of, though? Should we build it right off of the, just, like, the front here? Yeah, that's probably good. We'll just build it right off the front. Right by the, uh, the lawn chair here. Alright, so, we're gonna do a... Is that gonna be too high up if I do it there? I'm trying to think, because I'm gonna build it off a hinge. Yeah, you know what, let's just throw a hinge down. I might have to do a, a cleanup of the... Uh, of the bars. One of the things that's kind of annoying about the, the reshade, and this is the, the only reason that I wouldn't want to keep it, so go back here, you can see there's the, the reflections there, is that when I open up other stuff, and I put this there, the reflections, the depth map doesn't see the things that pop up, so it's like the depth map appears on top of, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but the depth map appears on top of the pop-ups things that are drawn onto the depth map. Yeah, you can kind of see it through there. Instead of these things, um, you know, whatever reshade is drawing on, it, it draws onto the whole screen because the, the depth map doesn't jump forward to meet the things that are popping up. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, so I thought it was a nice little novelty, but I'm probably going to get rid of that at some point. Uh, I might also be making the making Mars a little a little reflective too. Kind of weird. Eh, whatever. Okay, hinge. Hinge. We're going to put it over here. You know what would be good? Is I might want to build closer to a... Uh, clo Did I turn off the build and repairs? Or is it just... Oh no, it's, uh, it's building way back there. Okay. Right. Um, yeah, I was gonna say I should probably build closer to a like a cargo container, but I don't actually have a cargo container anywhere around here. But I could have a cargo container somewhere around here because we have stuff here. Let's put one. Yeah, I forgot that I got the new grinder, so it goes way. Everything is way faster. All right. 
flip you over. That's the right way. Let's put you there, and then we will put a cargo container there. For some reason, I'm really particular about which, you know, making sure that the words on the cargo container are they're facing the right way up. And there, yep. All right. This is going to be an MB1 Cargo S. Oh, I forgot I even named the launcher. That was nice of me. I did not name the hangar doors. Didn't I name hangar doors? I thought I did. Or did I? Oh, I hope I didn't lose my hangar door groups. Okay. So these are the left bay. These are the rear. These are the right bay. Well, which ones are these? Okay, right bay. Well, which ones are all of these? Right bay should be these. Or no, these should be left bay. These should be right bay. The rear should be all the rest of them. Yeah, well, we'll figure it out once they get uh, once they get all built. All right, what did I need? Probably uh, you can have that. You can have these. You can have those. You can have those. I'll keep all these. Um, I already. Uh, what did I need for the hinge? Like a tube or something? Steel, steel plate. Then I have steel plate. I think I got the steel plate when I ground the thing away. That's how I got all these. Alright, you need a... Come on, there we go. You need a small head. Looks kind of weird. We'll repaint the truck after it's done. Uh, and we want some... I don't really have a... Time to, time to go through and clean up the thing a little bit here. Get rid of all these. Keep you around. Alright, so we got that. Um, let's actually, let's take a look here and see. Uh, do I have anything that I have built? Would the Mako work? Oh, the Mako is a really cool truck, but it is not a mining vehicle. Or drone, passenger, tram. The Ram is very cool. Uh, Stargate stuff. I've got the Rover Driller. That was not super stuff. Stable. The yellow dart. The tomahawk. Yeah. What do we got for you? These are mostly going to be... So we got scout trucks. Mining. Ships. Yeah, mining trucks is not a thing. At least I don't think it is. Oh, oh, wait. Here we go. Decommissioned. That's okay. What was it good for? I don't know. you. Mark 2. Okay. Purpose vehicle for excavating tunnels, mining, and clearing paths for the vehicles. Uh, although the Martin Arc 2 has less cargo capacity than the older Rattel, drills have greater range due to being mount mounted on hinges. Instead of relying on differential suspension height, it also features tow hitch. Vehicle, much greater versatility. This car container is lower to the ground. We could try making one of these. Okay. Uh, it's got the first, make sure the Mart block is on. Okay. Okay. 
interesting. Hmm. Well, let's build it and see what we get. Seems we did not finish building our uh, our hinge here. Um, here's what I'm gonna do: is I'm gonna tell build and repair blocks to not build. What are we on here? Welding. Don't do any armor or any. Door. Actually, I'm going to kind of need armor blocks, aren't I? There shouldn't be any doors on the thing. Alright. Um, let's see. We should be able to... Uh, oh, I can't see what's going on. Please don't tell me this broke. No, it's not broke. It's just not welded up yet. seem that there we go that should work all right uh, did I pull out the projector I did not I don't know what this thing actually looks like, but we'll find out. Hmm. I need one computer. I'm going to assume that we are running very low on components here. Uh, are we running low on an ore of any sort? Uh, we shouldn't be running low on any of the... Oh, I bet the ship is full of stone again, isn't it? Um, what did I do last time to turn off the stone? Um, did I tell... the drill system to not collect stone. Okay. So, because I'm assuming that basically all of our interior space is full of stone right now. So, what are we missing for you? Silver? Now we have some silver. We don't have enough silver. Platinum. Yeah, we are out of... Oh no, there's a bunch of silver right here. It's possible that the, um, the grid is so full of... Actually, no, everything's piped up already. Yeah, it's possible that the grid is just so full of um, stuff that it can't transfer things around right now. So full of stone. So, oh well. Can I... I need a ramp here is what I need.
right? Why can't I? Uh, oh, because these things are here. Oh. Mm. oh, okay. I'm not getting a ramp. Oh, no. Did I just hit? No, that's not what I need. I just need one motor. Can't even fit. There we go. Just give me one motor. Three motors is fine. Oh, it's a computer, not a motor. Stop it. Alright, fine, you can have your motor. I need a computer. Nah, we don't have any. Make me a computer real quick. Thank you. Alright. What are the odds that uh, I'm going to turn on that projector and it's going to start building stuff in it right away, even though it hasn't really been building anything at all? I guess we'll find out. Um, I need... Ooh, you know what? There we go. Alright. Alright. Projector. Blueprint. The Martin. There we go. Let's see if this works. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Forward offset. Okay. So, we need to build... A merge block. It's lined up, right? Yep. Did I really give it, give all my steel plate away? Yep, I did. Aha! Took it. All right, so we need one of you and a merge block. That. Ooh, okay. I'm glad I grabbed two of those because that needs to go there. There we go. And now, we should start getting the whatever this thing was called built up. Now, hopefully, you can drive like super fast because I'm going to want to go nuts driving around with this. We're probably going to destroy this thing pretty quick. Ooh, I wonder where the, um, how far forward do the build and repairs go? That's, uh, apparently far enough, because they're flying by. Build and repairs, show me your ranges. Okay, so we are, we're within the range of at least one of the ones that I built. Yeah, the forward one that I built onto the ship is fine. Okay. Alright. Where's that button? Get out of here. Okay. Well, one thing we can do is move it a little bit closer. Not that it's going to matter. Um, these things are also set to build closest first, I think. There's a lot of stuff to build. Yeah, I found the hole again. Yeah, and the problem is, like, I could just grab things from that cargo container and build stuff, but it's, uh, like, we're, we're fighting the ship for resources. Well, I think it's pretty clear what we need to do, then. We need more assemblers. And probably a speed module and a. And we'll put some power modules on too. Alright, um, where are we gonna put these? I have an idea. Uh, where to. 
four. So we're going to put you... Ah, the doors are in the way. I was going to put them sticking out of the side of that cargo, but I can't do that. So what we're going to do is put them underneath the ship, but we're going to put them back here a little bit just so that they're a little bit defended underneath the ship here. So I'm going to put one here. This is going to break some stuff for a minute. I don't want to put it there. I want to put it like here. All right. Then I need T conveyors, which are going to go. Yep, there we go. Run there. Nope, there. Stop it. Uh, put that one in backwards because T is on. Which one is this? It's this one. I gotta really watch my hydrogen here because if I fall down the hole. Oops, that was not what I wanted to do. There we go. Okay. So now I got those there. Yeah, how is hydrogen looking here? Uh, we're looking good on everything, so. Okay, so I need assembler, assembler, and we're going to do... Because I don't, I don't want to... I don't want to run out of power here while I'm doing this, so we're going to put power and speed on all of these. Pardon me, wrong spot. There we go. These will almost certainly not remain here. Just hanging from the ceiling. But... <clears throat> I need a... Oh, I need a spot where I can stand and watch this happen. There we go. Bubbly Bertha. Oh, what now? Why have we stopped? Alright, how's inventory looking now? Yeah, you guys aren't going to stay long, so I'm not even going to bother naming you. Where's those assemblers at? Okay, just so I can tell them apart in the thing here. Oh, I guess I could... I could also tell it to use the survival kit to build things. It's not super, you know, fast, but it's there. Let's actually do that. Um, no, it's IIM. Okay, there is a... There is an option in here to... Use the uh, to use the survival kit. I thought uh, autocraft ingots from stone in survival kits until you have proper refineries. Disable autocrafting when you have regular. Okay. False. Okay. So now let it re restart there, and now we should see the survival kit is. Everything has stopped. Okay, now the survival kit is doing stuff. Oh! Oh, that's not good. Oh, okay, that is good. It just had to split it up more. I thought it moved everything over to the survival kit. Okay, so it can put some things in the survival kit. That works. Okay, so soon we will have five assemblers, essentially, or roughly like four and a half, I guess. 
and uh, yeah. We need to get the assemblers going here, though. Stop, stop trying to build the. Uh, trying to build this thing, aren't they? What category are these things? I don't even know. These are considered... No. Boy, you're taking your time here. Oh, now you're building this one. Boy, you're just all over the place. They're probably not trying to build my truck yet. Nope. Still digging out pretty good on the bottom here. I was thinking I might start building a uh, like a bottom, like the floor of the first, you know, the the upper level. And then I realized that it, <laughs> we're struggling to build the, um, like, just the outer ring. You know, the outer border of the place, so. Um, what time is it? Oh, it's 9.48 in the morning. I thought it was getting to be nighttime. I thought the sun was setting, but it's rising. Alright. So. This is going to take longer than I thought. How can I get this thing to prioritize the actual assemblers? Uh, I don't know what... Oh, I think, it, I think those are maybe functional, just considered functional blocks. So maybe if I say priority down on functional, it'll start doing production blocks instead. Because I don't mind if they're going a little slow or using extra power to begin with. I just want them working because more, more assemblers means that the rest of the stuff gets built faster. And now they do seem to be focusing on them, which is good. Need to get them computers in there. Yeah, computers, please. Yeah, we need a lot of computers. Uh, who else is in charge here? Make all those. Make like a ton of them, please. Get, can I get? Ooh, that's going to be too many. Can I get you making some too? Okay, one assembler is done. I don't know which one it is because I built a incomplete still. And you need construction components. Do I have construction components on me? No, I don't. Okay. All right, everybody, stop making stop making computers for a minute. Stop making computers. Make construction components. 
Okay. I think we are back on track now. This should be done very shortly. Come on, you can do it. Boom. Okay. Now we should be in business. This should... This plus the survival kit, like... I don't know, it's probably like 60-70% more production capacity. Given that these are faster. Although they're not doing anything at the moment. They are piped up, right? Do we have an issue? All containers for type ammo are full. And bottles are full. Yeah, they're full of stone. <laughs> what, are the re what are the refineries doing? Please chew through that stone quickly. Get rid of you. How we doing here? Um... Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do we think about taking a... Maybe taking a, uh... <clears throat> taking one of the power things off of one of the refineries and, uh... Putting a what is this thing? Oh, it's already got a speed module. Um, taking one of the powers off and putting like a yield module on, or another speed module. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe another speed module on each of these. Should I do a yield? I really want to chew through all of this stone. That's the thing. Yield is going to be more important in the future. Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave it for now. Very indecisive. I need to get some lights back in here. Come through. Ow. Are we actually building stuff now? Did those assemblers kick in? No. The assemblers are not kicking in. Uh, oh! Because they're not on the same grid as the ship. Well, that's a problem. Izzy's not going to own these. Hmm. Okay, you guys are about to get all your materials back. We're going to move them. Um, actually, let's move them first. Again, these are going to be temporary. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm instead going to do this. Doot, doot, doot. Doot, doot. Yep. I'm going to go uh, power, power, power. Um, speed, 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 and then the top two are going to also get speed. Oops. Oops. Whoop, whoop, whoops. Or the, the outer ones are also going to get speed. Okay. And then we can tell, just to give it some raw materials to work with here, we could tell it to eat these. Yeah, I forgot Izzy will only control the um, assemblers that are on the same grid with it. At least I think that's true. I don't know, maybe I just had a, a break in the pipe or something, but either way. I could build them up fairly quickly given that I just gave it a bunch of components to eat.
I would build another refinery, but actually, wait a second. Why don't I build another refinery? Like a basic refinery, which has a weird icon. Why don't we build a couple basic refineries off the back here and uh, help chew through some of that stone? We're not making a lot of progress on our on our truck though, <laughs> which is the thing I wanted to do. Oh well, we'll get there. Can't tell if the uh, yeah, it looks like the assemblers are not entirely constructed yet, which means. Not sure why we're focusing on the uh, these things again, but that's okay. As long as it all gets built. Hmm. So the the eventual plan is that um, inventory manager is going to move on to the base, and the uh, the ship stuff it'll still have its own inventory manager. But the, the base itself is going to be doing the majority of the work. Um, no. But we're just... Did we run out of a material again? Or are we just... Uh, uh, caught exception during execution. Too many errors. Trying to fill the refineries that are not connected see if we can get it back up and running. Yeah. Sometimes that happens when you're when you're building a lot of things. Because you'll get confused. Alright, I'm gonna name these real quick just so I could tell them apart. These are gonna be um Assembler on the wart. And then the uh, same thing with the refineries. These are going to be refineries on the wart. That's what I'm calling this thing at the back. There we go. So now we should. You can kind of hear I'm starting to kick on. <clears throat> What are we doing on gravel? Are we successfully ejecting all the gravel? Yeah, yeah we are. Okay, cool. Alright, so... Uh, the wart refineries are not picking anything up yet. They should be... Yeah, everything's all connected now. So they... I can hear the assemblers going. Oops, inventory. Okay, the assemblers are going, the refineries are not, for some reason. Let's see if we can manually... No, we can't. We can't move anything into the refineries. Interesting. <sighs> refineries don't have a port on the bottom. Well, that's silly. Hmm. Yeah, well. How are we going to fix that one, huh? Smarty pants. I'll tell you right now. We're going to fix that by getting rid of him. And making something that looks even stupider. That's how we're going to do it. Mm -hmm. And now I'm realizing I didn't need to get rid of all of them. So yeah. Just a just a banner day for me today. And we will throw a third one on top. We'll just get three of them going here. Of course. What to 
fight. Give me an entire refinery, please. And oh my. Yeah, I know, I know. No, don't build it. <laughs> okay, just get this whole thing together here. Okay, now, if we look in here, we should start seeing... Yeah, there we go. They're all building. They're all getting their stone. Alright, so you guys, once again. Okay, refinery on the wart. Okay. So... Those will likely handle themselves getting built up here. Um, I think all of the, at this point, all of the assemblers are built up. Let's just make sure. Yeah, all the assemblers are built up. Oh my god, are we out of cobalt? Or is everything just focused on, I bet everything is focused on eating the stone. Yeah, everything's focused on eating the stone real quick. So how are we doing on stone? We have 4 million stone to get through. Oh my god, almost 10 million stone to chew through. Um, Izzy will always prioritize the stone. So, let's make, let's get it to make a little cobalt for me so I can at least get the rest of this stuff going here. I am not sure. I'm just thinking. Can I tell? Can I tell Izzy to only put the stone in the uh, uh, yeah? I, I, I was hoping there was a way to tell it to put stone in the basic refineries and everything else in the larger ones. Don't think there's a way to do that. Yeah. You want an ore to... Oh, so I, what I could do is tell it... Um, I could tell it to not... Just not prioritize anything, and then it will always move... It will just go back to doing whatever it needs to do. Um, but I really needed to get through all of this uh, stone. Which is quite a lot. So, you know what I think we need? I think what we might need, and I know I'm spending a lot of this stone to do this, <laughs> but what we might need is a tower of refineries. Give me some steel plate. Do we have steel plate? We have no steel plate. Could someone please make me a bunch of steel plate. No, no, my inventory, my inventory. There we go. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, four, five, six. There we go. That should be enough, I think. Yeah. This is not... I mean, this is not unrealistic. Maybe. I mean, I, if I really wanted to, I could make it look nicer, but I don't really want to. I just want the stone out of here. You and you, gone, gone. All of you, gone, gone. Um... Here we go. Um, we, this is not a wart anymore, this is now the refinery tower. Okay. 
So. Yep. So I'm going to guess, again, that uh, production is halted because what we need is... Uh-huh. Yep. What we really need is metal grids. Does, does the refinery need metal grid? It does not. So. What we need is... Um... Construction components, motors, computers, and steel plates. Okay. Let's... Uh... Let's start with uh, one of the wart ones making me a bunch of steel plates. And then let's get the other wart one making me a bunch of motors. Let's get the other wart one making... What was the other thing we need? Construction components? Not that many. And I'm, I'm sure Izzy at some point is going to decide that this is not a good idea, but... Alright, what else do we need here? Computers we're going to need. Not as many, but we're going to need more steel plates. Spaghetti cruiser, I don't know what that is. Um, give me... Yeah, give me more... more. More steel. And give me like a hundred computers. Yes. Good. Do we need more? Give me more of those things, too. There we go. I forgot that I had put three more on top. I was really, like, I was looking at this and thinking, oh, I need to make, like, 300 steel plates. No, I need to make more steel plates. This should be going a lot faster now. Well, I mean... I'm not connected. Good. Refinery tower is going to town. Maybe we should have made an assembler tower. Izzy is going to freak out when I move all this underground. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to... Go look at my ship and see if it's done anything with it. And by ship, I mean... Mm, truck. Ooh, yeah, it has. It built one merge block. Okay, good. Everything is done over there. We're not still pulling in stone, right? Uh, yeah, anyway, sorry. Drills. Okay, good. Uh, this is going to be going for a while, but we're going to have so, so much iron, nickel, and silicon when this is over. Be very happy about that. We won't have to mine any of the basic materials for a long, long time. I mean, assuming we don't get blown up. Let's go see what our thing is up to here. Oh, great. I was being so careful walking around. Okay, so the reason we're not building anything there is probably because it is trying to put steel plate into all of these things. So what we can do is go to this one and tell it to start... Uh, where is it? Furthest first. Because uh, my ship is... Our truck is pretty far away here, so it'll probably... We could actually even make it even further away, couldn't we? It's 
put it even further away. I've got the multi-grid projector plug-in in this world, so uh, it might actually build the drills onto the front. I've never, I've literally never used it, but don't tell me that thing is further than that. All right, well, we need, we need to make some, uh, no, 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 no. We, oh, you're making cobalt. Oh, this is being smart, actually. So, so Izzy is doing what I wanted. Izzy's got the big refineries doing cobalt, and all the little refineries are doing stone. Okay. Well, get out of here. Okay, so that's why we're suddenly building up all these things with the metal grids. Oops. Uh, accidentally opened my uh, suit helmet. Um, so how are we doing on production? Why aren't you building anything? Why aren't you building anything? Izzy died again, didn't it? Caught exception. Too many things going on. If we leave it alone, like if we stop building stuff onto the ship, then it shouldn't crash anymore. And then hopefully this will start going nice and fast. There we go. Okay, you're building. You are 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 building. Everybody's building. Build my truck, please. I swear I told that one to do... Oh, furthest. Okay, so you're... <clears throat> Why are you prioritizing the blocks, though? Instead of... Oh, let me guess. Oh, no, the, ne the next thing should be... Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that it's... Okay, fine. What do I have on me? I need some steel plate. We're gonna... We're gonna kickstart this. And... It's <clears throat> the next the next thing that it needs to build on my truck is um Hey, this cargo container is empty. That means uh stone is uh not filling up the entire base again. So anyway, the next buildable block here is a um it's just a block. It's an armor block, which means that it's not uh right yeah, so it's it's deprioritizing it because yeah, it's it says um, it'll prioritize functional blocks and it'll do these armor blocks last. So amongst all the armor blocks now, those ones under the ship are furthest away. So it would uh, oh we're getting closer now because it's doing that one, but it'll have to do all this row first here before it does anything. So what we're gonna do is just plot if I can get a there we go. We put you in and you in. There we go. See, now we're talking. Now it's going to start building up the functional parts of the ship. If I could, uh, of course, I don't have any steel plate now. But you see why it's doing that. Now it's got actual functional blocks and it's prioritizing those. <clears throat> the problem is, eventually, it'll run out of functional blocks it can build, and it'll need to start building in some of these. Uh, 
Did it? Did that? No. Okay. I thought that crashed. It's just below the mountain. Yeah, eventually it'll run out of functional blocks it can build over here, but, but at least it can start the uh, tires. Or not tires. I'm looking at the tire. It can start the uh, batteries. The batteries can start charging. That's kind of what I really wanted. This is a, this is a really good um, survival vehicle. Uh, this guy, ISL, or ISL, I don't know, makes these really, really great um, vehicles where the... Uh, like, they're just really well thought out. They're really good for survival. You know? Like, this has got a ladder that someone could grab on there. It's got thrusters in case you're trying to go up a hill, but you're full of um, stone. You know, you get a little push. Um, extra hydrogen engine if you run out of battery power and need to top off. You can go mine some stone. I'll bet you there's a... I'll bet you there's an oxygen, an O2 gen in here somewhere. Or, oh no, at least there's some oxygen tanks. Not oxygen, hydrogen. Alright, so I'm curious to see how far we get before it runs out of uh, functional blocks that it can build. Oh, that's nice. It's got a, a a port on the bottom and a connector on the back too, so I could I could put a connector in the ground and just drive over it. Knowing this guy, the uh, um, the it'll be pre-built with a uh, a command to lower to drop the wheels, and then this will just lower to the ground. I'm probably gonna have this only temporarily, just to get some driving done today. I really I'm just itching to drive around while the rest of the base is handling itself. Um, but um, I, I really do want to, at some point, design my own mining rover. And um, probably going to do that at some point, but not today. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. So once it gets most of this done, then it'll unfortunately start welding up the base again. And I gotta leave the truck on here for a while to charge, so... There's that O2 gen I was talking about. H2O2 gen. Kinda surprised it hasn't tried to put these together yet. Those must be lower in the priority. Oh, I did want to make a solar tower. I was thinking it was going to be nighttime and it wasn't worth it. But now that I'm real, this is a really, because I mean, this is a big open flat space, so we would get solar power for a long time. So let's talk about that while I stand on top of this thing that's being built. I kind of want to stretch out some pods to the sides and maybe the corners and do um, do like a uh, weapon pod thing. Yeah, we're going to have... Is that lightning? Oh, hey, look at that view. That's pretty cool. Um, we're going to have uh, conveyors running all under here. So, now I'm getting really nervous that that was lightning, I don't know. It was probably just stuff flying around. Nanobots. So we're going to have the conveyors running under the... There we go. Under this entire spine here. Um, so we could continue forward and do like a weapon pod thing in the front. And maybe out the sides, because I, I don't think I have anything running underneath it that way but I should at some point. Um, so yeah, we'll probably do... Maybe... Whoa, jeez. Uh, continue out the... out the back for weapons uh, by the gravel pile here. Just continue out by the... Uh, these things. Yeah, I'm realizing that, that uh, Reshade has also put some reflection into the... <laughs> into the Mars surface, which makes it look icy. Yeah, I think we'll probably shut that off. Who's coming? Ooh, that thing's coming like right at us, basically. What's what's that look like on the? Uh... Oh, 
What's that look like on the radar? Is he basically coming? Oh, there's two of them. It's a wasp. And they're not coming right at us. They might come into range, though, to be a problem. Should I update the numbers on any of these? Probably not, it's just building everything as fast as it possibly can. I'm excited for the uh, um, updates coming to Space Engineers. I don't know if anyone watching is kind of following the news, but um, uh, the next update is going to have this, um, like, I forgot what they called it, like a status block. Like a block that can literally watch the grid for changes and then react to it. So you don't need a programmable block. You could say, like, when this hinge, watch this hinge, and when its angle gets to a certain degree, then trigger this other thing. You know, so it's like a, um, I think, it, I don't know if it can do more than one, tr you know, trigger more than one event, or if you'd have to have a ton of these things for, I'm assuming you'd have to have a ton of these things for, like, complex stuff, but still, you know, doing stuff like, um, you know, like right now, the way you can trigger off of, like, a sensor detecting a thing, or a event, um, you know, running out of oxygen or something like that, you can, um, you know, you'll be able to, it can manage anything like the screenshot they showed I think said like if a new block of a certain type is attached to the grid then do a thing like it's it's really like true um, you know grid API access it, it looks pretty pretty sick um, and then on Twitter yesterday or today I forgot it was one of their lead developers Jan something something um, he was talking about the new uh, vrage 3 engine that they're building and it's gonna have like um, also, all sorts of like optimizations and you know real-time ray tracing and stuff they're already building into it, and um, they're looking at releasing a um, a modder tool like the same way that like Bethesda releases like the creation kit, you know the the same tool they use to make stuff and it makes modding like Skyrim and Fallout really easy. Um, they're talking about doing that like they're building that tool for space engineers right now. So that, and then releasing it to modders so that we can use it to make cool stuff. I'm, I'm really excited. Space engineers, they're, you know, plus they're working on, they've got a whole team working on water simulation for V-Rage 3, which is going to be nuts. So, my guess is this is going to be like a Space Engineers 2 kind of thing, that it's not just going to be Space Engineers gets an update kind of thing, but, um, either way, like, I mean, I would, I'd be willing to pay for that. Because that, that sounds fantastic. Um, you know, upgrading to the latest Havoc and DirectX 12 and everything. Like, <clears throat> if they pull that off, as I just randomly spin my mouse around while I talk, if they pull that off, um, uh, this the future of this game is looking pretty awesome. This is where I'm going with this. So anyway, what are we doing over here? What are we building? We're back to building these things. I'm glad I told it not to build the uh, hangar doors. So, yeah, they're all still building. Oh, jeez. So, what I need, these things are made out of steel plates and metal grids. So, I just need like a thousand metal grids, basically. So, who wants to be my metal grid maker? That's too many. You get out of here. You're good. Yeah, okay. You stop. You make me like thousands of those. You get out of here. You make me thousands of those. I, I'm saying thousands, but I mean hundreds. Um, what, do you, what should you be making? What else are in these things? Just steel plate and metal grids. Okay. Okay. 
I thought about adding um, AI enabled into the world to, um, you know, like with Raider pods or something, uh, just to, you know, get something that might be more likely to attack me. But those, my experience with, with that so far has been like, the bots are like, I mean, I've got a shield and stuff, but like the, the bots are normally like even more, like, I, you know, without the shield, you could take like three, four bullets, really. Um, and those things are, you know, they could take like 20, you know, so not exactly the, uh, not exactly balanced, especially when they come at you like a lot, multiples at once. And I mean like, you know, I did the robot raider pod thing once and it was like, uh, like, what did I do? I did that one in like the zombie one or something. And it was like, even these big guns, cause this, well, part of it is cause the spread is so wide, but like, it just seemed like they could tank so many of those uh, bullets. But. It is what it is. I could, I could probably look into changing settings or whatever. Okay, we're getting closer here. Now, uh, wait a minute. You're supposed to be doing farthest first. Why are you working on these? Those look like granite. Looks pretty cool. Um, why are you doing these? When you should be doing those. Hmm. Combat phase. The other thing about driving around is that it'll cause some bases to spawn in, which will give us a little bit of something to do. Can I... Oh, you're not built yet. Ooh, are you outside the... You're not outside the zone, are you? No, you're partially built. Okay. That is kind of annoying. Give me a second. I'm going to shut this off. I'll be right back. Alright, that actually was much faster than I thought it was going to be. So, Alright, it's gone. No more reflections. Back to normal. Alright, so what are we up to here? I think we probably need to order up some more what happened to my there we go alright so we probably need to order up more metal grids and stuff hey it's building the truck again uh, let's see who's not building yeah you're trying to make stuff that's good okay you make me bunch of those and you do too so we can at least get those into things does this mean my why are you Oh, because you need metal grids too, huh? You just need eight metal grids, that's it? Let's see if I can snag eight metal grids. Because then I could get in and start controlling the ship. Uh, probably not. It's going to take forever to make those. What's refinery up to these days? Refineries are all on stone again. Well, how are we doing on stone? Hey, we're, we're making a lot of progress here. So we've cleared out all of the small containers of stone. So only the large containers are left. Yeah, okay. We're making good time here. Those other refineries really, really helped. Okay, so in terms of... 
uh, this. Can I get a little bit of cobalt into here? And into here. And there. And there. You know what? Now that the now that the stone is so low, I think. Oh yeah, we're making good progress here. I'm gonna tell inventory manager to not prioritize stone. Just do whatever you're gonna do. Do whatever you need, basically. <coughs> Excuse me. Except I need cobalt. Thank you. Whoa. What is going on with that effect? Did I... I must have goofed something up. Okay. Man, we are just stuck on wanting to make this gravity component because I told it we need 10 of these. Okay. Things are happening here. That's what I like to see. Oh, can I not get in yet? I can't, there we go. There we go. Okay, so what I want is these things to be on recharge. Yeah, that's really all I wanted. Cool. Just wanted to make sure I was hitting all the batteries at once. Actually, am I missing any batteries? like they're all there. Although we are losing power pretty rapidly in the base at this point because we're building so much. Alright, now that this is essentially, now that, now that everything's flowing again, let's maybe put up a solar tower. And I hate to do this with heavy armor again, but kind of want everything on the surface to be heavy armor. There we go. Okay, what did I just pull out of here? Nothing, okay. Oh, man, we have a lot of cargo components. Or, uh, steel plate. Give me a ton of those. And then go to town building everything, please. Alright, so I want to go out a little ways, because I think I want... I don't want anything coming up out of here if a ship flies out of here to interfere with solar panels. So one, two, three... I want to go out at least that far, I think. Was that something blowing up? Oh, no, that's the truck clanging out, probably. Okay, I hope that thing can reach over here. And I want to pull over here. I want some lights on the pole. Do I want... I think I probably want... Like... That, and then I want another... Ooh, how am I gonna, how am I gonna do this here? Um... Yeah, I think we want this thing. Just so that it's because it's only one block, it won't interfere with anything else. Okay, so that'll just be some spotlights hanging out. All right. Um, 
Do I, did I put the solar rotors stuff in here? I did, but I don't really want that. I want regular rotors. Ro rotars. Rotors. And then I do want these things, the solar rotor supports. And I want some solar panels too. So, uh, what? how dense do we want these to be? The ship's got 20x. Um, let's do 10x. We're not going to make as many of them. i got to remember how to do this. Alright, so I want... Um, oh, you know what? Yeah, we're just going to do it. Then put a regular block on it. Then put one of these there. One of these there. Then we're going to go like that. Like that. This is how big this is going to be. This mod has a, a, a rotor that wouldn't need a script, wouldn't need a programmable block to run it. Um, the, the mod that contains these things. But... It's, um, sometimes it gets really shaky, um, and so I don't like to use it. I prefer to use Izzy, because I'm, or not, yeah, Izzy's a solar alignment thingamajig, because, um, oh, this is good. We're already in good shape here. Oh, no. Oh, the solar alignment on the ship is probably trying to move it. Either that, or... No, actually. No, it shouldn't be. It's just jiggling around for some reason. Let me, let me, um, just, just to make sure. Let me go onto the ship and tell solar alignment. No, automatic alignment. Yeah, script is in. Okay, so that's not your doing. Is this like a... Is something inter... Man, I can't tell if something's like clipping with something or... What is your deal? There we go. Come here. Uh, velocity is there. Velocity is zero, but it's still... Oh, even with rotor lock on, it's still jiggling. Okay. So... Did I put three of these in? Oh, no. Okay, so the fact that it is rotating like this implies... Uh, that there's a phantom force going on here somewhere. And I'm not sure which thing is causing that. So, let's get rid of these. Okay. So something was was glitching with those. That's really weird. So if I just put if I just put one on. Oops. Okay, now we are not glitching. Okay. That's weird. Something with something with having two of them was a problem. All right. Well, that's fine. You know what? We're just gonna do. This is gonna be plenty of solar power anyway. It'll be fine. The tea again. Okay. 
yet another thing for it to work on building. So where are we going to put a temporary... Well, this thing is charging. Which is, which is what I'm waiting for, this thing to charge. Um, and apparently also finish building. Uh, where should I put a temporary programmable block? I think I'm going to put it just right on the outside here to make it extremely temporary. Uh, but not you. Actually, no, we will do you. Because I hate these guns. So, we're going to be incredibly temporary with it. Can you believe this is what computers look like on the inside? In the future? It's crazy. Alright. Uh, uh, solar alignment. Now, I think I need to put... Uh, let's see. This one is... Solar rotor... Uh, vertical, and then this one is, so ooh, uh oh, oh, that's not good. How did I turn that on? How on earth did I do that? I don't even know what this is. This isn't the, uh, holy moly, I have activated a, uh, like a hidden something for my mother, my uh, GPU or something. I don't know what did I do here. What on earth did I hit to do this? Stop. Get out of here, one password. I honestly have no idea. It's because there's the... Huh. Well, this is life now. We get to see whatever is happening here. Uh-huh. I mean, it looks cool. I honestly have no idea what I'm even looking at. Okay, well, let me finish doing this, and then I'm going to take a quick break and Google whatever the heck this is. Okay, so this is uh, going to be solar alignment. Not where I meant to put that. I meant to put that over here. That's the group. And then uh, the solar alignment thing here. Solar reference. That's probably actually what I was supposed to do. But solar alignment. I need MB1 solar alignment. This is extremely annoying to look at. Okay, we'll set up the rest of that later. But it should have enough solar panels on there now to at least figure out a... Actually, maybe it, it's kind of already pointing at the sun, so... Okay, what do we think that I did to turn this on here? I was hitting something along the lines of... Yeah, I have no idea. Alright, give me a second. I'm going to try and figure out what this is. Ah, there we go. I figured it out. Alright, so. The ship. Or I'm, I keep calling it the ship. The, uh, the truck is still charging. It's going to be charging for another minute. And now we're working on building these things. Which are going to require a lot of uh, solar panels to build. But, um, we should at least get some sun. Yep, see, it's already starting to rotate. I kind of want it to face the other direction, though. So, I'm actually going to turn this off. And, because uh, I, I want... This is an aesthetic thing. I want this thing to... Uh, I don't, don't want to get hit by it. But I want, it, I want the... Uh, 
like the what essentially looks like the front to face the sun. I realize this is probably going to smack into me when I do this, but this will have the uh, benefit of getting the build and repair to start working on the other ones that are closer to. Oh no, 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 zero. There we go. Spin it back a little bit. Okay. There we go. So once we get one of those ones on the other side, then Izzy will have a, a reference on both sides of the of the panel. And then I can turn it back on. So, how are we looking? 320 solar cells each. We should have tons and tons of silicon, though. Unfortunately, that little divergence there meant that my... Uh... Oh, wait. Do I have a bunch of steel plate on me? I do. I could just fill this in. If I can get close enough to it. Come on. No. Come on. Ooh. Boy, you really just can't... I might need the build and repair to make it. I can't. Did I just barely have it? I, I can't get at that block. Oh, wait, wait. No, that's a different block. That's the connector. That's the wheel. Does this block even exist? I don't know. How am I doing on hydrogen and stuff? Uh, oxygen. Oh, we are very low. Okay, let me let me deal with that. Mhm. Mm Come on. One of those. 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 Okay. Okay. Kind of surprised we haven't had any, like, weather since I've been here. Like, at all. There's been not a single weather event. This thing's, is this thing done? Ooh, this might be done. Ooh, we're done digging. Okay. Oh, are we done? Yeah, we're done. Okay, so. Um, while I'm waiting for Izzy to start up again... I need to, or for that, I'm sorry, for that to get finished, uh, I need to go into the drills, turn them off, and I forget how far forward we need to push them, but, um, let's push them forward by, oh, that's not going to be nearly enough, uh, they need to go, oh, actually, maybe it is, I can't tell where the, where the front is, because it goes under the ground. Well, that's good. That means I can actually push this forward as far as I want, and it will just go underground. So, that's something. Not what I wanted to do, though. Let's see if we can, um... If we can connect here and maybe see it while we do it. Uh, so if I go to ten... Okay. Five... Okay, you know what? I'm going to raise it vertically to negative 20. There we go. Now I can see. So forward. Is this going to be a... How's that look? Yeah, that's perfect right there. Okay. All right, so then we just need to lower you back down to 25. Alright. Back on, and you could drill out the last bit here. Okay, good. I think we can turn Izzy back on now. And I'm actually going to recompile it just to... Yeah, it's complaining. Stuff is not built up. Okay, so we got those. Gyro mode is false. Um, power fallback we will do once we have reactors. Rotate to sunrise, that's fine. 
We're not going to fall back to hydrogen. Activate on low battery. Yes. Um, I'm not going to do base light management yet. I might do that later. Yeah, it's all fine. Okay. All right. How's the how's the battery looking on this thing? Oh, it's fully charged. Okay. So all I need is a connector for it to connect to when I get back. And we can probably grind it off if it's... No, it hasn't been fully built yet. So let's not grind it off just yet. Um, yeah, I just need a charging spot. This will be fine right there. Yeah, that'll be fine. I'm not actually going to connect it up into the base. I just need a spot to charge it. Um... I'm about to lose my standing platform here. I also have to make sure that I don't back the truck up into the hole at any point. Um, I really need this thing to build those for me, please. This is going to be difficult. Well, actually, I think this thing has its own internal thing. So if I shut that off and go in it, then it should have a... Uh, like, it should have its own projector, so I could just drive around a bit when I come back. It'll build everything up for me. Uh, so we want to slowly lower this thing to the ground. And... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, that, that kind of scared me for a second there. I thought there was like a giant ship floating in space. It's like, what the heck is that? Okay, so, we gotta grind this thing off of here. Um, and I need to make sure batteries are on. Oh, the, uh, drills did not get... get built. Well. I guess I need to manually put the drills on, don't I? really hoping that it would, um, I'm just going to pick this color. I don't know what color these are supposed to be. Go like this? I guess so. Oh, are those going to hit the wheels? That might hit the wheels. Oh, that's interesting. I thought these were symmetrical. Interesting. Alright, I'm going to see if I can manually... Get some stuff. There we go to weld these up. No. Let's turn you on just in case. Is it welding them up for me? Okay. Well, never mind then. I guess I'm going to have to set these drills up on my own. Six is... Oh. Okay. Seven was probably manual drilling. Okay. So this is what these are called. Drill and drill. I don't need to see these in the toolbar or in the terminal. And we can put the drill. Boy, I gotta clean up all those things. The drills are gonna go. Oh! Oh, I, I guessed the correct name. It was drills. Okay. Nice. Okay. This is looking good. We're drilling fast here. Hopefully that thing fixes itself when we disconnect. Turn you off. Do we have both of those? We do. Okay, let's get out of here. 
Oh, I was going to turn the batteries on before the build and repair decides to... There we go. Before it decides to eat it for not being powered. thing for a spin. Uh, okay. Well, we're just leaving the light behind, I guess. What else does this thing have? So it's got an ore detector on it. It has an antenna on it. It does have a gyro. Ooh. Why is the gyro spinning? That's... Is it a gyro? Is the gyro on over it? Does this thing have a programmable block? Oh, it does. Okay. Ownership of programmable block change. Please recompile. Where's, the, where's my recompile button? Doop. And the trailer manager, we will turn you on as well. I don't have a trailer right at the moment. So, Oh, hey, weather is finally happening. Okay, I don't know what's going on with this rotor. We have, we have some skid steering ability, but not much. So... This, I don't really like the wheelbase, to be honest, but... Let's, um... Do I have a... Uh... There we go. Do I have a GPS of the Mars base? No, I don't. There we go. So now I can get back. Alright, so I don't know what this uh, weather is about to happen here. Hopefully it's not a thunderstorm. But let's let's go for a drive and hopefully not roll this thing over. Oh, you know what? Let's turn on the ore detector too so that I could see what's going on. Boy, this thing is really... Let's crank you up all the way. This thing is really wobbly. Uh, so there's nickel and iron. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Nickel. My guess is we're going to find nickel, iron, silicon, platinum. <laughs> silicon up ahead. I'm hoping that I can find a magnesium boulder. If I could do that. Hey, if I turn on you. Whoa. Yeah, that's not helping, is it? Okay, stop, stop. Iron, iron. Here's a big, like. Is that a boulder on the side? Ice. I think we're good on ice because we've got the. We got the thing that's um, pulling ice from the air, the moisture vaporator. But let's see what, what this ice looks like. Probably just underground ice. I'm glad I filled up on oxygen before I left. Silicon, iron, silicon, ice, iron, yeah. A lot of silicon. We're driving over a big silicon thing. So I'm mainly doing this in the hopes of getting like something interesting to spawn, but... Now we are just completely, completely out of ore. We're in an ore dead zone here. What is our... Hang on a second. What's our... Platinum over there. What are our wheel settings at here? Decrease strength. Increase power. Decrease power. Oh, we don't need this much power. We're going to run out of... Let's try that. 
friction at 44%. Let's take that down a little bit too. Let's try this for now. Okay. Yeah, we can we can crank up the power and everything once we actually if we you know if we get some um, you know actually get some ore on the ship. I keep calling it a ship. I mean the truck, whatever it is. So what do we think this is? Platinum boulder? <laughs> nah, probably not. It's probably underground platinum. Yeah, this is an ore patch. Man, I was really hoping there would be magnesium. I guess what I probably should have done was looked on the scarce resources page to see if uh, magnesium was even on this planet. In the boulders. In the past, I'm fairly certain I've found um, magnesium in surface boulders, but maybe that was on a different planet. Would be nice to uh, to spawn a an enemy base or something. Uh, there's a boulder up ahead. Let's see what that is. Platinum. Well, we've got a lot of platinum back at the base, but I really want to try and see what this can do as a miner. So maybe we'll stop and mine this boulder. Did I just jump out of the thing? Oh my god. <laughs> Not what I meant to do. I meant to do this. Alright, so. Uh, let's see if we can figure this out. So, we've got... Uh, two is... A, oh, that's rear hinge. That's hinge control. Five is also hinge control. So where's... Okay, here we go. Um, yep, control that. I don't understand that yet. Hinge lock on and off, and then drill, drill. Shouldn't there be like a reverse hinge? What is six? I can't really read it. Hinge, I bet that's reverse hinge. Okay, so what is controlling... Okay, so now the... This is supposed to be March or something running. What is nine? Handbrake on off. Yeah, okay. I don't understand that. But let's see if we can... Uh-oh. Oh, isn't there a... I forgot what the... There's a thing you do when it only controls one of them, and I don't remember what it is, so we're just going to do this. There we go. Let's eat some platinum. Oh, do I have ejectors? Oh, it never built my thrusters. Yeah, this thing better have a uh, projector on it. Okay. Toggle my projector on. Now I should see some... Yeah, there's those holographic parts that never got built. Yeah, this is doing pretty good. We're not, like, dipping into the ground at all. Um, I do need to figure out how to turn on the uh, ejectors. What is not what is five? Five is lights. Where's my drill one? I don't see any ejectors there. Ooh, what is this? Oh, that's the trailer control. Okay. Is there a parachute? Is that a parachute? There's a parachute hatch. Okay. I don't know how to turn the ejectors on. What are they set to eject? Anything? Uh, hold on. Do we have? I assume there are sorters on this. Okay.
There we go. Yeah, this is working pretty good. I bet. I could, yeah, the way this thing drills, oh, I could just, I could just drive straight through this boulder. There's a lot of assertive things flying around, though. Hold on. Let's, even though there's bad guys flying around, let's get let's get a screenshot here. Might have to lighten that a little bit or something, but what happened? Super. Yeah, okay. Where's the, uh, where are those assertive guys? Are they, yeah, they're kind of heading back toward the base. That's fine. All right, what do we got? in inventory. We have a bit of platinum. Good amount of platinum. Alright. Nope, forward, 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 forward. I'm facing the wrong way. Oh, this is why we need the... <laughs> this is why we need those thrusters. A little bit more power. Okay, let's head back. I'm not going to get this entire boulder. We got plenty of... Uh, we got plenty of platinum forever. We might have to fix this... Um, uh, hot bar a little bit because there are some things that I don't really need and some things I do need see how we drift I think that's because of the drills on the front being a subgrid now, I'm wondering if that, um, actually, I'm, I'm wondering if the purpose of this um, gyro is supposed to try to correct for that, but I'm not doing a very good job. We're getting away from these guys, right? Well, not too bad. Didn't get to do as much driving. I was really hoping that like a a base or something on the ground would spawn in. Maybe my threat score is not high enough or something. I don't know. Maybe I should have built a thing that had a uh, a gun on it. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, we should have plenty of power back at the base. It's probably going to be near um, done drilling. Seems like we're going really slow, but this is basically like the the top speed that I want to be driving in this thing. And I think this is actually probably its top speed. Well, not exactly, but it's probably got a limiter on. We're going uphill at the moment. Which is good. I don't really like to drive at like maximum speed in wheeled vehicles on, in this game, just because then if, if suddenly you need to make like a quick turn, you'll end up you know rolling the thing over. Same with you want to you want to keep a good amount of uh, you want to keep the friction low, keep the power as low as you can manage, uh, so you don't you know waste your battery driving the wheels unnecessarily. Keep the strength as as bouncy as you can keep it. 
you know, enough that whatever weight you're carrying, it's it's able to just barely hold it up. Um, and then you'll have a, a pretty good time driving. Yeah, I can hear the sound of the hinges that are that are on the that are holding these drills up. I can hear the sound of them moving. Base is looking good from over here. I don't have a camera on the back of this thing. It's gonna be fun to try to connect to that connector I built. See if we could kind of line ourselves up this way. Don't fall in the hole. Don't fall in the hole. And whip it around. There we go. Oh, almost. Now, the, the trick is going to be um, as with all things in life, the trick is not falling in a hole. close enough? I think we're close enough. We're close enough. Alright, let's tell these batteries to charge. We did pretty good. Hopefully that thing will despawn when I turn the world off. Alright, so here's what I'm seeing. We're still drilling out the very last bits here, but what I don't see is the build and repair building anything. Which means it is now free. Oh, I take that back. It's still building stuff over there. I was thinking it was done. And that I could finally build my uh, thrusters, which need one metal grid each. Um... Oh, I could add these things on. This was supposed to continue all the way to the end. Um, but how are we looking over here? At some point, I'm going to want it to turn on the doors. Yeah, everything's looking pretty good. I'm not... What is it trying to build? Is, it, is there just another... Oh, there's just a couple more blocks it hasn't built. Yeah. Well, maybe now it'll finish my truck. The solar panels are done. Yeah, that's not a thing. Alright, build my truck. Oh, it's building these things underneath. Oh, there's a lot of those. Uh, let's see. What what are these things considered? Um, these are not hangar doors. I don't know what these actually technically are. It's prioritizing them higher than the... Um, no, it's prior... It did all the... Huh, interesting. It did all the blocks before it did these things. Yeah. Either way, I don't care if it does it. I just wanted to do these things first. So, you... Yes, I know I need that. That's why I'm trying to get you in the thing here. And you... What? Are we, are we out of metal grids again? Let's see what the status of the base is. Nothing is building. Okay. Refineries are still chewing through stone, but they're almost done. Oh man, they're, they are almost done with all the stone. Once that happens, I'm probably going to turn off the, um, the refinery tower just to get, um, 
just to make sure that we don't lose out on too much of the the good stuff. Although I think those will only refine up to cobalt, because I don't think I have any mag uh, magnesium to be refined. We have very little magnesium. Oh no, we don't. Oh, we got a ton of it. Never mind. Okay, but it is switching to cobalt periodically. I like that. It seems to switch everything to cobalt, though. So, I guess that's fine. Uh, right. I don't really know how else to get this thing to prioritize the things that I want it to make. Okay. Well, I guess uh, it just is. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now you get it. Alright, does this thing have... Uh... In the MR2, anything else? Okay, so there are still front thrusters that it's not, that it hasn't built yet. Where are the th front thrusters at? I don't even know where the forward facing. I don't know what it's building over there. Is it, is it building doors? There were still things that needed metal grids. That's what it's busy doing. Okay. Well, yeah, there's a lot of... We need a lot of metal grids. Okay. We're going to try to prioritize metal grids real quick. Uh, we are prioritizing metal grids, aren't we? Yeah, not you. I guess we had enough cobalt sitting around for a lot of these. Man, nights on this planet are nice. Base management, the most exciting part of Space Engineers. You know, that reminds me, um, I need to uh, get the platinum out of this cargo. Um, this is going to kind of be annoying.
Because <laughs> I don't want to drop it down the hole. I'm afraid that things down at the bottom of the hole aren't going to get it. I think we've dug the entire hole now, though. Yep, the hole is a hole. Okay, so we can... Oops. We can take the drills, turn off the area, and turn off the drills themselves. All right. So I wonder how many more things need metal grids and... Oh, what is this? Oh, please don't be a problem. This is probably for the best anyway. We're going to raise this up like that and then toggle it on for a second and hope that... Yeah, because there's a whole bunch of these things kind of floating around here. Oh, jeez. Okay. There you go. Maybe I should have done that all the way back. Well, I don't know. That's fine. Oop, oh, jeez. That's not fine. Okay. Maybe it's a little more stone. Not gonna hurt anybody. I mean, it will if it gets in the way, but... You can have my motors. You can have all this stuff, actually. Take 200 of those. And now we've got that thing where the sun is on the opposite side of the planet, so it shines through the ground. That's nice. Okay. I'm assuming... Great. Are we really... We're disassembling things? I mean, I knew we were disassembling things, but I didn't realize it was going to make everything disassemble everything. Uh, I should have more of those set as uh, assemble only, but they are temporary, so didn't want to bother. All right, let's do like a quick walk around here. What do we still need? You're good. You're good. You're good. Good. Nope, metal grids. Metal grids. Metal grids, metal grids, metal grids, metal grids, metal grids, metal grids. Okay, so we still need hundreds of metal grids. I think this is probably how the rest of the stream is going to go today, is uh, just kind of micromanaging the metal grids here until I bet you, oops, yeah, I bet you there's 
dampeners. I bet you there are things in the back here that don't have metal grids in them either. I don't know, the back ones are okay. Yeah, back ones are okay. These things need metal grids? No, they we're just missing construction components on a lot of these. That's kind of fun. Okay, most of these are not built at all. So, that's fine. And we're getting there, though. This one's done. Come on. That one's getting there. Yeah, we're almost there. Hm. Nice. Alright, you're good. We just need to keep the refineries going on cobalt. We'll get there pretty soon. Once we have all of these metal grids done in everything here, um, and then it builds the remaining pieces of my truck, then I can tell it to just start working on the doors. Oh, I guess I need to lay that out too, don't I? Oh, I guess I can do that while I'm waiting. These were just regular, right? Yeah. We have a lot of steel plates sitting around, so I'm not... Although it may decide that it is... Uh, there we go. It may prioritize steel plates now. There we go. And then... Yeah, I realize that I'm just actually distracting it from what it's supposed to be doing, but I don't care. And there, and then we're going to leave that last one as a T. And now I can't see what it is, but I think there's one, two, yeah. Wait. Nothing. One, two, three, Yeah, now we'll have one going up and one going down, and at some point we'll just destroy this block here and then we can pipe up from it. <laughs> Alright, more metal grids please. Or other things. I like that Izzy is okay with me doing this when it's when we when we definitely already need metal grids. Then it'll be like, yeah, it's fine. We can just make metal grids. I think it just split the order to another assembler. Yep. To all the assemblers. All right, so we're getting there. Ah, we're getting to the very last one there, which might mean, and we've got all these done. Is it time? Time to fix my truck? Time to not do anything to my truck? Still doing that. Okay. So, why aren't we building my ship? Build my stuff. 
maybe that's not buildable. Like, maybe that's literally just not buildable in there. I don't know. But you're currently not doing anything, right? Are you missing anything? Missing items? Trying to build half-slope light armor. Uh, but why aren't you doing it? Okay, let's let's tell the build and repairs that they can. Well, they should already be prioritizing. Yeah. So is it which one was looking at it? Corner light armor. It doesn't see the. Uh, I wonder what the ranges on this. Oh, it should definitely be in range. It's really close to it. So why isn't it seeing my thrusters that it needs to build? Hmm. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just tell it to build doors. Because the... Everything's functional enough, so... At least on my truck, so it'll be fine. But hopefully that eventually uh, welds up over there. Alright, I need real quick to get... No, not to crouch, to fly. To get more of these things, which are force field generator 5 block. Or I really hope these things work, because... If they don't, I have wasted a lot of resources on these. I'm going to have to find a different force field solution. Uh, okay, there we go. Alright, and I think what we want to do is take you out take you out because we are going to build these out that way eventually and what's our what was the thing that was here we go uh, oh, these are the force field things. That's what these are. Okay. Why are some of them called force field generator block and some are called display name ace hangar door force field? That's weird. Are these two different kinds of block? No, they're all the same kind of block. That's weird. Okay, well. Let's just name them and get them off the screen. Hangar door. Force field. What, 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 what is going on here? They are... Man, these are just not... Force field generator 5 block. Force field generator 5 block. I love that these use, like, almost no power. Okay, so we're just going to change all of these to... Um, Mars base 1... Force field. That's going to be good enough. So that'll keep the air in. We're definitely going to have to build a ton of uh, additional blocks, but we should have plenty of iron. This is going to be pretty cool when it's done. 
That's all I can say about that. We are probably going to have to leave and go find Magnesium at some point, and then come back here. Uh, but... Oh no, wait, we had a bunch of Magnesium, it just hasn't been processed. I think we're good. If we can get the base to be self-sufficient, where I can leave, and it's got like its own refinery and uh, assemblers, and it could continue doing stuff, um, we'll be in good shape. I also want to get more platinum out of here. If I can. Uh, oh jeez. Ow. Did not hit it fast enough. Well. Alright. See if we can pull it out of here instead. Uh, here we go. To me, out. To me, out. To me, out. To me, out. To me, up oh, and fly, fly. Ow. Why? Why am I always hitting? Oh, I died. I had the dampeners off. Ow. You know, I don't know why I'm bothering with the dangerous thing when there's a cargo container on the side here. And that was all of it anyway. So, except for that. Okay. Yeah. How are they? How close are they coming here? They're flying past, okay. That's weird. At the at the moon they kept coming really close. Alright, well let's see how we're doing on refining that stone. Once we get rid of all the stone. then uh, this is going to go a lot faster. Well, it seems like it's going really slow now. Like, we chewed through, uh, like, 10 million stone, and now we've got, like, 100k left, and it's taken forever. Yeah, well. Yeah, I guess when I leave it alone and stop putting the, uh... Wait a minute, where is it still pulling more stone from? Don't tell me there's, like, a cargo container with stone. Oh, no. There's a cargo container full of stone somewhere, isn't there? We didn't really chew through all the stone. This refinery is 58. Refineries... No. All the, all the stone is in the refineries. Huh. That's a, that's weird. It must have, it must have just been rebalancing when it did that. But the good news is this is the end of the stone. We are getting to the end of the stone here. And now we've switched to cobalt. Why do I have uh Why do I have why am I holding these things? What did I grind up? to sit here and watch the la- oh yeah, we're already moving on to Cobalt here. Yeah, I want to move on and watch the the last of the stone get eaten. Yeah, I actually think I should probably turn off the refinery tower at this point because we're just kind of losing the- well, I'll let it go for now. We got plenty of Cobalt sitting around. Um, 
Yeah, once we're done with the stone, then I'm going to turn those off. I might grind them up too. Mm, yes. Come on. Get through the stone. Eat, eat the stone. Get it out of here so I can relax. The weight, the total weight of this grid has been ridiculous. <laughs> With all that stone in it. And there we go. The end of the the end of the stone. This we are out of the stone age. So let's turn off the refinery tower and uh, clear these out. The the refinery the basic refineries are less efficient. That's why I'm. You know, at this point, I'm I'm good with just the two large refineries doing stuff. So there we go. So one thing I am gonna do real quick is put uh, yield. Now that I can make yield upgrades, put a yield on each one of these. Oh. I guess I was full. Alright, so I need... Do I still have those? No, I never had yield. Give me a yield. Uh, which way is going to look best? This way? Or this way. I think that way is going to look best. But it's got to match the ship. That's the important thing. Yeah. Go with one of you there. And one of you there. So it's got speed, yield, and then two power on it. So then it is probably waiting on superconductors and construction components. How are we doing on gold? Oh, don't tell me. This is all the gold we have? Oh no. How are we doing on silver? Alright, so at least we got a bunch of silver here. Okay, so I, we might be making a trip out to find gold. Because... I'm trying to collect everything so I know how much of stuff we have. Uh, can, I, can everything just go into this one, please? No, I guess not. Hmm. Okay, well, either way... Um, we have enough silver for now, but if that's all the gold we have left, we're in trouble. Okay. So I think we have a goal for our next uh, episode here, which is going to be to get to space and get some gold. So how are we going to do that? Are we going to take the entire ship back into space to get some gold? Or are we going to build a uh, atmospheric to space mining small grid ship and take it up into like find some asteroids? That's a really good question. I do have a ship that I could take uh, out into space a small grid mining ship that I could build. Um, I'm not sure that I have all the correct mods for it. But, it's worth looking into. 
worth looking into. I think it had a different, like, small grid jump drive mod that I don't have anymore. So I might have to... Might have to do some... thing. Might have to do something. That's where I'm, that's where I'm at with this. Alright, but well, I think that's where we're going to stop it for today. It's the middle of the night. The solar panel is built. We have a truck that is essentially useless because uh, we have uh, plenty of everything that's around here, but at least I got to drive around a little. Um, probably going to make a space miner with a little jump drive, which would be nice. Um, and we have a, a wart on the butt with a tower of refineries. Um, and there is a pile of there is a pile of gravel there. So, we didn't see any Reavers, we didn't see anything, uh, anybody else, mostly Assertive came by. That was actually kind of weird. I wonder if uh, I need to reset a cache or something. I don't know. I have no idea how that works. So, um, yeah, all my doors and force fields are being built. Let's walk back around here. Batteries are still draining rapidly. Actually, are they? They are not draining that rapidly but still when the Sun comes up um, in a while these uh, solar panels will be nice yeah so that'll be it so then these doors will continue to get built up with these force fields here and we will there's a lot of doors to get built up but the mining is done um, the reason I don't want to, in case it wasn't obvious for me not telling anybody, but the reason I don't want to take the whole graceful exit back up into space is because it is um, providing the base with all of its refinery and assembly. Even though the base has more build and repairs to actually build stuff, the ship is doing all the material work at the moment, and so I don't want to. I don't want to take it away. I want to let it keep building. So yeah, I think we're going to try to build a. A ship that can get to space, a small grid ship, and and do that. There's some. I should make some thruster components, probably. We could do some cool stuff with some modded thrusters, I bet. Um, I bet you all of my ship blueprints have weapon core weapons on them. We might have to modify some blueprints. That'll be fun. All right, so that'll be next time. Thanks for watching folks. Um, next time is probably going to be next Monday. Um, I might be streaming some Star Trek Online Friday. We will see. We will see how it goes. Watch. Follow my Twitter and uh, I'll try to keep it up to date. Or join the Discord. It's all on the Twitch profile page. All the links. Alright. Thanks everybody. Have a good night. I'll talk to you later.